Can we convince you to stay longer? I lived here for like 20 years. <laughs> yeah, but we want you to stay longer so that... <laughs> more fun in the Philippines? Yeah. More fun on Boys Night Out. <laughs> more fun so we can leave. Well, that's why we're having fun right now. <laughs> All right, so what's up? What's going on? Uh, for those that don't know, you are actually traveling left and right, Australia, USA. You're sort of choosing between Australia. LA and Sydney. Okay. Somewhere that's near the ocean, because I'm half Filipina. Okay. I don't want to be a fish out of water. So I did go to Sydney. I really fell in love with the place. It's very, like, you know, clean, sophisticated, really fun. And Australians are just so amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, and LA, it's really cool as well. So I got to compare the both cities, and I've decided Sydney. Sydney? Yeah. I told you. Yeah, you told me right I told before you. I left. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It'll be Sydney. Um, so why leave the Philippines? Well, I've been here for 20 years, and okay. I grew up here in an in international school. I'm half Filipina, mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I love the Philippines so much because I've learned, like, a lot here. But I feel like it's time for me to go off and have a different challenge. You know? oh, wow. I'm a nomad. I can't really yeah. stay in one place for too long. And uh, I'm sure a Is lot of... Is with locations only or with relationships as well? <laughs> oh, yeah, good question. Yeah, She's nice. single, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. in English, you get the sour. Uh, you get uh, well, well, you get tired easily uh, or bored. Yeah, bored. kind of, kind wow. of. Yeah, like I just got out of a five-year relationship. Oh, congratulations! That's, that's, yes, that's, I know. That's five years too long. It is, wow, it's actually quite long. And you look so happy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> well, it, it must have been stressful. Huh? It no, 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 no. no. no see, Honestly, when you're in a relationship for that long, you kind of lose yourself. So, you know, like, once so you become not single, yeah. I know, we had that conversation too, right? I record that means I'm me, guys, in five months, I just <laughs> Five months, that's too, that's too little. You gotta give it at least a year. Oh, no, no, he's I done tried. my... I yeah. tried. He tried. He tried. He months, 30 days. He that's tried, it. but it didn't make a it. Year. You, count, you were counting down. You're like, 28 days, that's it. No, she broke up with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Were you heartbroken? Are you still heartbroken? My leg hurts. <laughs> Anyway. Why does your leg hurt? Uh, <laughs> anyway, carry on, carry on. No, I mean, uh, relationship, relationships are great, mm -hmm. but I don't think you should get in one unless you're completely like comfortable with yourself and being alone. Because if you're in a relationship because you're afraid of being alone, that's the that's the worst like thing reason. Yeah, and and that's the reason why I invite her on the show, guys, because. Uh, She's such an independent woman, mm -hmm. and there's that's rare, right? Oh, yeah. Filipinos always want to be with you know. Like like some yeah. Companionship, yeah, 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 and it's rare that you find uh, someone like her who challenges herself to actually try to stay alone. And um, how she's such an independent woman who wants to travel. How many girls do you know travel alone? Be be it, huh? yeah, be it, yeah. Yeah. Be it, and she does free diving, though. like she does all this wild, wild wilderness stuff. I don't Alone. wild stuff, then you correct it. Wilderness. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to own some wildness. Wild You're telling me she's not the wild sorry, stuff. Sorry. Well, yeah. wild I'm wildness. Yeah. 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 I like that. Uh, wow, the show just got burned. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Now we know why... Tony and Betty. Oh, nice, Julie. Well, it is a, a Kamote night Thursday. Yeah. You are a free spirited woman. Yeah. Aren't you a free spirited guy? You told some. Describe Julia for those that Julia can't. is like. I worked with Julia before in okay. Fox Network. And, All right. And then Julia is like a, a typical woman, a nice woman. A typical, typical woman. woman. Yeah. Uh, uh, very firm. And very then firm. Very firm. Very firm. Oh. Oh. Her. You seen her body? Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen her body, huh? Honey. She looks like Andy Manzano. Okay. Yeah, back in the days. So, yeah. She's right. like Andy and or uh, Jessica Mendoza. She looks like the uh, comparison for this mm -hmm. girl. Oh, thank you. In Hollywood, who would you compare it to? Uh, Jennifer Aniston. Oh, really? Or, yeah, or this girl. Oh, yeah. Right. Or um, the girl that um, ex boy ex girlfriend of Adam Sandler. What's the name of the girl? Um, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. No, sorry, no, no, no. Is it Drew I'm watching Fifty First Dates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the name? Uh, you, you, the ex girlfriend of Adam Sandler. What's the name of the girl? What? I uh, ex ex wife. Or you look like that. Yeah. Oh. But you're so uh, glamorous, beauty, oh, thank Julia. Thank you. Someone's wow. hitting on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, just kidding. Just yeah, kidding. we, we worked together and then remember yeah. these days? Yes, I know. Really <laughs> fun, yeah. she, she's just being nice. She's yeah. like, uh, <laughs> yeah. what? What? We did? We worked together? Yeah, we worked together. Yeah, we did. 
Yeah. In what? Years in, ago. Yeah, years ago in Fox Network. I remember mm-hmm. uh, with Casey Montero and Jody Vance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You actually remember? I remember that. Because... Jojo remembers every guesting he does. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sayang din yan. Oh, he has to keep it in the memory <laughs> bank. Baka may interview naman sa USB. The Spank Bank? The Spank Bank? Did you keep her in the Spank Bank? I know, Tom. So we're just we're friends, but we eat together. Remember the lunch time? Mm-hmm. We eat in that war. We eat. Yeah, I yeah, remember. That was fun. That was fun. a long time. <laughs> but to Jojo, yeah. Remember this, you guys? Yeah. We were just discussing uh, our hardest no. What is something you had to say no to, and it was like the most difficult. Um. That you now that you. I have to say no every day. <laughs> 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 it it's kind of weird now, cause like. I guess people caught on that I'm single because okay. I'm not posting about my ex anymore. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, so I'm getting a lot yeah, of it, weird don't you, requests. Don't you love it when that girl that you follow on Instagram finally deletes the whole page? Yeah, I didn't delete anything, though. I just stopped posting. Yeah, well, deletes yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or stops posting of the guy. It makes you wonder. Yeah. And you got to, like, backtrack. When was the last post of, of him so, and her? Yeah. And then you're like, oh. Okay. Oh, I got the weirdest request when I was in LA. Like, right. I got a direct request, and I was reading it. And he, he's like, um, I don't know if you do this, but I see that you're in LA, and me and my girlfriend are wondering if you'd like to meet us, and then if you do that kind of thing. And I'm like, what? Mm. They were asking me to join them. No way. Yeah. Yes. Three, so what? Wow. Yeah. How did you? Okay. What he was? Just, I didn't respond. He obviously. was following you on Instagram. I guess so. It was like the weirdest request ever. Wow. Was, most so, people are like, "Oh, can we have dinner?" Yeah. Or like, I'll take you out for a drink. So, would you have gone to dinner? They asked you to dinner. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was All funny right. to watch. It was funny to read. Well, he was just shooting a shot. He yeah, yeah. Know. You never so that know. That one I didn't say no to just because I didn't want to respond. Okay, okay. <laughs> but the hardest no. Oi, I don't know. There's. Recently? No, I can't talk about some of those. Not <laughs> <laughs> safe for radio. Um, you don't have to name names. No, I don't know. It's just it's it's a daily thing. It's it's. So it's it has to do with a guy. Yeah, usually it's just like dates and stuff. Okay. So okay, so, like, so they no, no, so and that's the hardest no. So they just ask you out, like, hey, you want to go out? You want to catch a movie or something? Yeah. Oh. You want to come over? And it's not it's not like yeah, I don't want to be like no, I have a boyfriend. I'm really like no, I'm not interested. <laughs> Oh, so it's it's kind of like oh, I'm very truthful. I don't want to lie and be like, "Oh, I have a boyfriend." Because what if there's a guy I actually like right over there or something? So, are you the type of girl that would, if you didn't like, if you like the guy, you play hard to get, or do you play in favor of the guy li- who likes you? Probably hard to get. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you? Do you like the hard to get? Um, oh, actually, what I realized. Uh, I like someone. Just now? Mm-hmm. After how many years? So I'm gonna last month on a real estate. The more I like the person, the more I'm gonna take my time. Yeah. If I know I see a person upon pa momol momol lang or pa really? Pa fun yeah. fun lang. Yeah, pa fun fun. Oh man! I actually wouldn't hold back. <coughs> but if I I kind of see something with a person, I'd actually pull myself back and take it yeah. slow. Because you want to see what they're like, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you might, might leave also the wrong impression that uh, you kind of jumped the gun. But it's you know, for fun, fun, down. You know, whatever. So you're there for the long game instead of the, the short game? Depends. It depends on the person. No, no. I mean, if you like the person, then you'll, you'll go for the long game. Yeah. Be- because you, you don't, you don't want to make it like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of thing, right? As a matter of fact, before the, the, a girl, you said, why, why didn't even, you never even try to attempt to even kiss me yet? And it's been wow. months. Really? Oh. Hmm. I'm the total opposite. I'll type my upak na. Just yeah. And then in the middle of it, I'll stop. If I really like the girl, like this, it'll be like a desert, like mm. cold turkey. I notice. If I really like her, I'm like, okay. But like the ne- the first few weeks, months, go. It's like. Go hard. Yeah. Quiet. It's like hardcore. Yeah. Mm. And then it just tapers off. And then, mm. Kayla, what, 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 what more, more can we. You know, achieve, achieve, because as much as we all want everything to work out well, like physical, sexually, chemistry, conversation, you know what I mean. But honestly, if sex is whack, mm-hmm. that's, Very true. Yeah. that's quite important. You know, um, but I get, I get Sam how he waits. I, I kind of want to like, like, I don't want to like 
prolong if, it. Yeah, if, if we're both mature about, mm. you know, going at it, why not? Mm-hmm. I mean, for me. And then slow it down after, like, hey. So for you, it's the opposite. Upak, and then slow it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've noticed that. that. I slow yeah, it down, you, and then I, yeah. I shift to... Because I want to know... You might as well just go for it, because yeah. you already have your opportunity, because if that opportunity passed... Yeah. yeah. And then all yeah. of a sudden... I've been burned. Yeah. Uh, I've been burned where the girl is like, what kind of... What? You What's your, like, pickup line usually, like, when you... Oh, go? I don't. He doesn't have to. Or, like, what do you do? You just, like, get to know them naturally. Yeah. Like, he just I, says, I own this place. No, I never <laughs> say that. <laughs> the club. Yeah. I never... I don't even say that. Uh, I, I don't uh, even... I don't have a pickup line. I, can talk. No, I think wait. I just go up to the I girl and... He just, yeah. Yeah. Line. So he just talks. Yeah. I, I never use a pickup line. Hey, yeah. you go around. You're like a shark tone. You attack. <laughs> you know what I hate in the beginning is like when you say you like something and then they're like, oh yeah, I like that too. Oh yeah, that's so interesting. And then when you actually get in a relationship, you find out they don't like it. No, because they're, they're trying to. That's part oh, of the thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. you want to adapt to survive? Yeah. So that's the reason why you're saying that is because like, oh, I I love to play golf. Yeah. They're, they're, like, <laughs> oh damn, I play golf too. You know, it's, it's something something that you're gonna say really quick so that you, it'll spark a conversation. Was it? Was it? Tito Alex was like, oh. uh Oh, I love reading books. Oh, oh yeah. I read books too. It's like, oh, what's, you don't even read. What's the last <laughs> book you read? You know, Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Uh, oh gosh, it's just like Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway. I was like, where did he pull that out? E. E. Cummings. <laughs> uh, just like no. And the thing is, she she reads weird books, right? She yeah. See, she really reads. Yeah. Oh, that girl. See, you see Jamie. So that's just weird. I wanted to ask. Uh, Julia here. What are some red flags? In a relationship or, or in the beginning? In the beginning. Because there's a lot of girls that ah, okay. are aloof. They don't realize that, okay, oh, you know what I mean? It's it's just surface level looks. Or, you know, maybe he might be famous. Or he might be a public figure. So, that's like out the window. It's like, okay, just let's just... This is my chance. But what are some red flags? Red flags would be like if he talks too much about himself. Okay. Yeah, uh, that self-centered. is like yeah, self-centered. Like right away, they're trying to be like, yeah, I own this, I do that, and then if they start like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, and then yeah, just like most of their success, you know, they're not trying to be humble in any way. Okay. They're trying to just like show you everything, and instead of actually, if you ask questions of for a girl, it makes them happy. But if you talk about yourself like twenty four seven, they're not gonna be really that interested. You you met guys like that. Yeah. yeah, actually in LA, a lot of them are like that. Yeah. So they were like, blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, bye bye. Because that's your that's their parang resume. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I'm, I'm I'm this type of person. They're I have like, this much. I have a yacht. Assets, I have yeah. this. Da, da, da. I'm like, okay, all right. Well, at least on boys in LA, we don't have too much. We, we don't have a yacht. <laughs> we don't even have a boat. Even, <laughs> a, even a bank can't afford. So. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess different countries, different culture. But also in the Philippines, I hear a lot of guys who, who do that. Mm-hmm. When they you do that yeah, too. there's a yeah. few. Where, where is where do you draw the line though? When, of course, you want to share something about yourself, but when is it mayabang? When does it become a bit obnoxious? Mm. When it's too much in a row, I guess just like add a little, little by little, mm-hmm. over the time you know each other. You know, don't just like pound it all in one conversation. <laughs> you know. And don't I pound it all. Make you it don't like pound general. It? Make it Joke? I pound it. Don't like pound it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is what is it too much though? Like, I mean, if you ask, so what do you do? Do you do? Does the guy sort of, if he's humble, obviously he's gonna shave it off mm-hmm. and not be as transparent. Can I also ask, is there something naman as too pa humble? And the, the opposite of being obnoxious. Yeah, it has to be like, really, it's so, weird. So it has to be balanced. Because if you're wanna... too nice, girls are going to walk all over you. And mm-hmm. if you're too, well, no, girls wow. like me too guys bad. too. Or, or, or what if you don't <laughs> say anything about yourself? Let's say on first date, there are guys who talk about themselves a lot. About, oh, you know, I own this, I own that, oh, this is what I do. What if the guy's the total opposite? He asks everything about you, but he doesn't even say anything about himself. Is that, um, a, is that a good thing? A better thing? Or? Well, the girl's going to ask. That's that's a good thing. Is that so you wait if, for the girl to ask? Yeah. Okay. Like, you could mention a few things, but then it's better to also, like, you ask her a bunch of things, and mm-hmm. then she'll be like, what about you? Okay, and then that. you share. That's yeah. your cue. Yes. But okay. if you right away start telling everything, then it's like, okay, he's very eager. So they already know it's you're easy to get. So you, you got to kind of have that mysterious effect yeah. now. Okay, this is... I want to hear it's you first. The game. Yeah, I yeah. want to hear you first, and then if you ask me questions, fine. But 
I want to know you. Mm -hmm. right? This so. playing the game is quite difficult. Dating now is hard. I don't know. Dating's weird For those now. that are single and trying to get into the flow of things on whether you're dating someone younger or older, mm -hmm. it's a bit it's a bit difficult. Yeah. I must say. Um it's not it's not easiest especially with the advent of technology. You don't know. And Instagram has changed a lot of things yeah. for dating as well. There's our pros, there's our pros and cons. I think there's a lot of people that have been married because of mm -hmm. Tinder. Bumble. Yeah, Tinder. Because of Bumble. Bumble. Yeah. How, is there Bumble here in the Philippines? There's Bumble. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I You're not on it? Loading. No, no. No, I heard people talking about it in LA. They were like, oh, are you on Bumble? Bumble's and, good. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it like the girl app, right? Where you the girl can message the guy, but the guy can't message the girl. Well, first, initially, ah, it's okay. the girl that makes the, the first initial one. first yeah. contact in terms of messaging. Okay. And I can't message you until you message me. So we have to swipe right. And then only when we swipe right together, you have to message. And it's a matter of 24 hours. Oh, the time interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you don't, if I don't reply in 24 hours, it then expires. You miss, you miss the opportunity. Aww. So that we'll means... just find them on Instagram then. <laughs> if... Yeah, if you yeah, can. you can always find someone on Instagram. All you gotta do is just put the, in their name. But then the thing is, you don't know their account. It's so hard to find someone on Instagram because if you just type in... Okay, let me put it... Let's say I don't know your last name. And I put in Julia. They don't show the last name there in Bumble. It's only the first name. I think it's only the... F I've never... The, the, I, uh, the first name... First is it only first name? First name and then if you match together. And then first name, occupation, and then their status. Have you guys gone on a date like from Tinder or or Bumble or one of those? No. Uh, never. No, no. Never? No. Not yet. You should do it. Just, just a social just experiment? <laughs> I know though, not a lot of people, it's it's becoming a, a thing now. Not, no commitment so much. Just, you know, go meet the person. Yeah. Nothing to... So how's it working for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did meet someone uh, who went up to him before at a club. Oh, and then she said, oh, you know what? We're friends on Tinder. Oh, wow. You can be oh, friends oh, on Tinder? Oh, oh okay. Then, or you matched on Tinder. Ah, yeah, oh, you matched. matched. That's the uh, closest I got to a quote-unquote eyeball. Did you leave the club with but him? But it's so sad. <laughs> yeah. There's a love in the club. That's what it's all about. Your leg is Your leg is injured. <laughs> But the rest of your body yeah, is yeah. My tongue is working. <clears throat> my tongue is... It's far from your pelvic area, Sam. Yeah, you can still do damage. I was just wondering, have you guys ever had... What was the most difficult part of having sex when you guys had pilai? Anything broken? So, uh, did you break anything? And it's then... not the topic that we just shifted from dating <laughs> to having sex. No, I'm night. just realizing that oh, okay. Sam can still... He gets it's, the rust. <laughs> you, you, it's only a calf. He's only got a, a wound on his calf. calf. Mm -hmm. It's not like he, he, he can't do stuff. Yeah, yeah you can still move. <laughs> yeah. I think when I had my shoulder popped out. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's difficult. How do you do that? Basketball. Yeah, and then I popped it again. Yeah. <laughs> In the wrong way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I learned the hard way. It's hard headed. Anyways. Hold <sighs> back. <laughs> Go back to dating. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to more of these red flags and uh, whatnot with uh, Julia. Uh, she's only going to be with us for a couple more minutes. So um, stick around and we'll uh, ask her more questions. Pick her brain because uh, you only got a couple more days. When do you leave for Australia? Next Thursday. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, I'm not going to Australia. I'm going to Paris. Oh, Paris. Oh, oh, man. Man. Wow, wow. <laughs> Paris. Change of plans. Already. Wow. Paris and then Australia. Wow. Paris and Australia. Paris, then Italy, then back here. Wow. Okay. And then Australia. It's becoming a humble brag show. I want, to, <laughs> I want to walk out right now. I want to have her life. How can I go to <laughs> Paris, you Italy? Well, you guys are welcome to come if you want. Oh! May leave spot. Hindi nga pwede ma-injure. Alam niya. Happy birthday, JJ Billiena. Oh, oh JJ. Yeah. Uh, Congressman JJ. JJ Congress. Also, Anton, Lara. Happy, oh, yeah. happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Franz Padilla, what's up? Franz Padilla. Uh, I want to thank our friends from the Power Max Center. I uh, hosted <coughs> there earlier on with our friends from Belkin as well. Mm -hmm. And I think Alonso is going to be coming oh, on the show. Oh, wow. He's going to be jamming with us. And that will be the youngest, right? <laughs> so far, the youngest uh, DJ. DJ. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what he has to say. <laughs> 
The boys are out tonight all the way till 10. Come on, the nights. My name is Slick Rick. Is Tony Tony. Joe, you love Survivor? Magic at 10.9. Nodding. And then, like, backing up a little. <laughs> what, what if you and then be what, like, oh, what? Did you call me? And then just walk away. What if you're interested in the guy? If I'm in, and he's yeah. creepy? Mm -hmm. Well, no, 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 no. Not creepy. But when is it appropriate, or when is it. Okay, not appropriate, because it's. For some, it's not appropriate, but when is it the the, the best time to squeeze in that dirty sexual talk? innuendo? Well, not dirty talk. <laughs> you you want to do dirty talk on the first day? <laughs> wow! 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're so so Julia, you are not on the first date. Then okay, it has to be like maybe after you've already had sex. You know, wow. then you can oh, talk. But if you do that before <laughs> to a woman, then what is he likes that? to make jokes before they had sex. No, 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 dirty. no, no they're two different things. No, because that, no, that's, sex that, joke. That, that, that's what I was asking her. Is that you know when you first meet up and then all of a sudden you just blast a little sex joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah probably like, do it after. No, what if no, like, one of those? I suggest. Uh, all right. What, what if you said uh, we we were at a restaurant and you order yeah. say you order oysters? Steak, oysters. Then you, you say, no, 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 no. Oh, no, wow, no. that's a big oyster. <laughs> then I'm, I'm going to say, oh, that's what she said. <laughs> well, that's what she said is very, it's so is childish, that okay? so it's fun. Oh, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not too dirty. Right. So it's fine. Right. No, What's but dirty? But he's testing it out. Yeah, hey, that's what if you're eating a hot dog? Oh, yeah. We go, out, we go out for lunch. Then I stare at you. And then you're eating the foot long. Are you going to put that all, all of that in your mouth? Uh, what? Oh! Wow. Oh, that's her reaction. That's going to be her reaction. No, like, oh. uh, no, like I toned out for a bit and then I was like, what? <laughs> We're eating a banana. She thought about it. <laughs> no. Like, she was like, <laughs> <laughs> she, was really, she looked at the mic. <laughs> but it depends. Like, is it pink? Is it real? Yeah. Hmm. No, that's probably a major turnoff for most women. Okay. Because so, they want to be respected. Okay. And if a girl actually likes that, that's probably not the kind of girl you want as well. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes we tend to treat me like a hoe. Treat me like a hoe. Wow. 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 I know, but some girls joke around as well, though. Yeah. I guess it matters on the person. So is it? Oh. Yeah. Is it better that the girl? Does the, the, the first sex, initial sex joke Muna before the guy? Yeah. So so at least Mejo Okay, we're we're cool. So what if the guy's like, so uh what do you want for and then you're at like a burger joint and then uh he's like, Oh, uh and then you ask for the you know, the foot long. Mm -hmm. Right? Or tacos. And he makes a yeah. Oh, talk. Yeah. You want talk? <laughs> <laughs> how does he? How does he say it? He's like, you want tacos? <laughs> it's probably Nerd also Nerd. your presentation, like how you do it. Okay. Is wow. it really creepy or is it like really joking? Ah, uh, so, nice. a joke. See? Yeah. It's how you present. The joke. Oh, okay. If it's done in a creepy way, then. If I lick an ice cream, Julia. Oh, sample, sample, how, sample. How, how do you describe it? It's like a. That, for you. Say, for example, the the, uh, the headphone stand holder. Yeah. Move the mic, Joe. Move the mic. I like that. There, there. Uh, uh, how do. Okay. How do you describe me, Julia? How, how do you. Okay, let's say let's say you both get ice cream. What I just yeah. saw. Let, let, <laughs> I you think you've been scarred for life. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say you both get ice cream, mm -hmm. and he's like licking doing, it, like doing it just like what he did. And he's like staring at you. You know the the. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the, the cone of the ice cream. Yeah. Is there the eye contact? Well, is he hot or is? He, yeah, 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 yeah. The guy's hot. Okay. The guy's hot. Kingman. In, in your eyes, he's hot. Yeah. Um, probably a turn off. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Even the guys uh, look like. Have you ever guys really licked ice cream in front of a girl? Yeah, and I, I think that. I think that's something a girl should do. I don't think a guy should do that. Have I done that? No. no. How, no. how else are you gonna eat the ice cream? <laughs> well, no. Oh, I mean, no, but staring at her. Just no, because you don't want to lick. You the gonna... way you guys are doing it, don't do that. Wow. <laughs> if, you, if you're staring at the girl while you do that, imagine that's creepy. It's creepy. Don't be oh, a creep. Oh yeah, yeah. That's don't go creeping on the girl. Staring is creepy, talaga. Because you're like. But what if you're boyfriend girlfriend already? Oh, that's, that's fine. fine. You're joking, you know. You know each other already, and if she already knows you're kind of a joker and you're, you know, usually stupid like that, then it's okay. okay. What if she just thinks you're stupid? <laughs> well, all women think their man is stupid. Are you that's really? The truth. Wow. Yeah. Are you oh, yeah. serious? Yeah. That's so sad. Wait. Speaking of an uh, ice cream and hot dog, you know, oh, I discover go. I know. Yes, exactly. I discover go. You bought. Can I walk properly? I know. 
Hindi, kasi meron nga akong ano, uh, fracture, ay fracture ko na may function ako sa left uh, calco. <laughs> Pops, malala. Hindi, <laughs> napa-honest bi ako kanina. Ah, okay. Solid. And uh, nakasave pa ako, ay, I discovered sa Honest Bee, merong promo till July 1 na Boca B. If you download for free or you use honestbee.ph, if you, uh, you get 1,000 off for 5,000 purchases and above. Okay. Use book a B1000. Book a B1000. That's one word. For 5,000, 20,000. For 5,000 best of off, you have to spend at least 20,000. Book a B5000. Book mm. a B. Tapos, kanina, so, like, pin deliver ko sa honest being groceries ko. Solid pups. 1,000 pesos off. Kasi my bill was at 6,472. Binawasan lang 1,000 pesos. Check it nice. out. Book a B1000. You get 1,000 pesos off if you uh, do groceries 5,000 above. So, honest B. Solid. There you go. Nice. Um, we're talking about red flags as well. Uh, 6310899 for the girls out there. Um, this is great because not not all girls know uh, red flags on what to look for when uh, in the dating scene at the start. They at, at the start because they if they do like the guy already, initially it's already like out the window in terms of um, the red flags. They, they they compromise, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, you know what? Okay lang yan. So... People settle. They're just yeah, like, oh, yeah, let yeah. that go, I'll let that go. But you really, you shouldn't. But more on this online thing, what are some red flags of these apps? The photos. Do you judge a guy uh, by their photos? Yeah, yeah. Because actually my friend did put Tinder on my phone. And okay. then we were at a bar and drinking wine. And mm -hmm. then I, we were just doing that together and we were having so much fun. So okay. I learned Tinder on that night. And um, I did realize what I was swiping on and what I wasn't. Okay. So like girls like it when the guy has like a dog in the photo. Because he's oh, he likes dogs. Oh, he's animal oh. friendly. Oh, okay. I have a dog on my photo. That's good. <laughs> that means something else though. <laughs> no, I really have a dog on my, my on my Tinder photo. And my DJ oh. friend from LA, he said that he got more swipes um, when he had his profile photo with him as his, a DJ. Wow, a radio DJ. Oh, okay. So girls do like that as well. I will well. do that. Yeah, do it. Serious? Test it out. Wow. And then uh, what else? Uh, maybe one with your mom. Uh, oh, seriously? Yeah, wow. yeah. Because then it shows that you love like. You know, your, mom, family. your mama's boy or something. Family oriented. Yeah, I family oriented. Do you guys have any mo family members on your Tinder? I don't know. No, I don't have. I don't have. You don't have Tinder. Like, Tinder. Something sporty, like where you're about to go scuba diving or like something ah. interesting. I have that. Riding a Ducati motor. I have my Tinder photo. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That That's a... You ride a bike? I ride a bike and pertaining <laughs> that I ride Ducati. Okay, say, say he doesn't even... Okay. He don't have a license, but he has a picture of him on his Ducati, on a Ducati, as his one of his photos. So, when if you ask them, and do you ride? Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and he doesn't. Is that a turn off? Probably. So you got to get your license. Ah, okay. Because then if you say, oh, that, that was just for the picture. Because you're, you're going to be a, like a poser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, poser. And women like responsible men. Oh, man. So, guys who are, you know. Got but you why do some together. women date irresponsible guys? <laughs> daddy right? issues. Is that it? Yeah, daddy issues. Maybe also the thrill, I guess. The thrill. The thrill of the guy just being, you know. That's true. Could helping be, him out. Could be the thrill. Yeah, oh, another out. red flag. Um, oh yeah, for the, the like, dating apps, like pictures, mm -hmm. profile photos, uh, is don't put one with you holding money. Ah yeah. <laughs> oh. Or like you on a yacht with hot girls. <laughs> oh, okay, so you. you oh, I know like, someone. Like, <laughs> you can't, you can't be Floyd Mayweather. Type. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can't be sleeping with the or using the. the... You're only gonna attract the really bad kind of girl, so. So you're not using the the stack of money as a phone, like hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or have checked right a bank check in your. <laughs> Why would you have a bank check? Hey, yeah. some people are so very, diba? They're very hum uh, brag, bragging their uh, check, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so they show the check. They check how, how much? Yeah, don't oh, yeah. put that on your Tinder. Wow. Don't don't do that. There you go, Joe. Yeah, wow. Nice tips, Julia. Thank you, Julia. I can completely reconstruct your Tinder for you if you want. Wow. 
It'll only cost a hundred thousand pesos. So. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> he can afford it. Yo, go for it. Yeah, I do it. Anyways, uh, Sam, I want to ask you. Yes, Pops. Um, what would you reward yourself if you got promoted? I mean, a new car is a good thing, isn't it? Pops, lalo pag SUV, de ba? Kasi ngayon para. I've seen your brand, brand new one. Hindi sa akin. Ne, with the bahay these days, de ba? I would love to have a new SUV. It's a perfect uh, reward for all my hard work. Yes, you deserve well, it. Actually. Oops, ganda na mga SUV. Minsan, hindi kayo di afford eh. Well, let me tell you this. Metro Bank has ah! some great wala, news. Wala, wala, wala. Yeah. Ah! Metro Bank has the great rewards car loan promo. You can upgrade your car. Not only that, you can get as much as 30,000 cash rewards. Teka, teka. Ano yung 30,000 peso crash, cash rewards yan? Anong pwede ko gawin dyan? That's big, huh? Oh. Okay, so check Kasi this out. Kasi 30,000, pwede na, pwede ko na pa leather seats yung kotse ko niyan. Yeah, not only that. Mugs. Yes. Tawagan ko si KBH. <laughs> Mappler. <laughs> Martin. So, the cash rewards will really go a long way for you. And I'm sure your next ride will be souped up. Teka, teka. Hanggang kailan ba yung promo na yan? Well, you can apply now because uh, the promo runs from March 28th. It's been running till mm -hmm. July 11th, 2018. So, don't forget, March 28th. It's ongoing till July 11th, 2018. Per DTI FTEB permit number 3628 series of 2018. Um, we do have, do we have a school book? We do. Yeah. Let's do that. Cool. You can join us. Do you speak Tagalog, Julia? Konti lang. Oh, okay. But my, I don't understand so much. Oh, terrible, perfect. Terrible, terrible. Perfect. What about uh, idioms? Uh, Jojo's there. The, he translates the best. Yeah. From, from Tagalog to English. He's an idiom master. Can you translate? I can't translate anything. Oh, yeah? No. Okay, we'll put your skin. Well, you can try. You yeah. can try. You're oh just, gosh, are you just as bad as... So bad. Slick. Slick's been here also for 20 plus years, and it's it's just as bad as well. Yeah. So I don't you both often. are in the same... Boat? Yeah, when I it comes to... I don't think so. <laughs> no. He's probably way better than I am. Oh, we'll see about that. Yeah. Anyways, coming up is School Google. Also, let's play a game. Um, yes, maybe no. We yeah. haven't played yet this weekend, this week. And uh, what stuff do we have to give away? Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, Uncle Drew gift packs. And uh, yes, those overnight, overnight? stays whoa, 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 whoa. at yes, Holiday, Holiday Inn, Inn Express. Express. So for those that want uh, those passes, uh, overnight stay, so we can hook you up. Three. We're going give, to give away three tonight. All right. So really simple. You guys know what to do. 631-0899. Sam with. It, it, do you see Sam with girls all the time, Alonzo? Yeah. No. <laughs> How many girls? He's gonna rat you out. What? Ten girls? Two. <gasps> Two girls? Two girls. What are their names? <laughs> <laughs> do you like them? Do you like them? Yeah. They're pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like pretty girls, right? Yeah. Uh, what, what, what's your type of girl? Do you like them uh, Filipina looking or do you like them uh, very uh, European looking? What do you like? Any? Yeah. Any girls? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any, girl. yeah. Any girls. Any girl. Nice. Do you have any kids? Me? No. Yeah. No, Me? no kids yet. No. For those who are wondering, we do have uh, Julia Kasimbing and. Uh, Hey guys. She's going to be hanging out with us. Uh, we were talking about how you're single now and you want to freeze your eggs. Oh yeah, like that's a thing now. Everyone wants to freeze their eggs so we can feel like a guy. Like as in we don't have to worry about it so much. Wow, how can you do that? Freeze your eggs. Freeze your eggs. I don't really know the way they do it. Wait, Jojo. You go to an actual... Uh, place for that. You don't do it at home. Oh, okay. This right. laboratory. Or? Yeah, and they yeah. cryogenically, I think, they take your refrigerator. Yeah. Take your. Uh, uh, they take your eggs and then they put it. Put it in the away. Refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, cryogenically, and then they they store so, it. Oh. But it's I'm expensive. Like, it's like ten thousand dollars, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, around, I, I know yeah. around ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars, roughly, yeah. um, in Canada, and I was like, wow. Guys, we don't have that problem. I think it also empowers a lot of girls. This whole yeah. freezing yeah. thing. Yeah. Because now, it, it used to be, it's all about the biological clock. Oh, yeah. you're 30, you know, you got to so get with someone. So they choose the wrong guy just because they're afraid. Because of the pressure, yeah. yeah. But now, like Samo. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Her Our eggs. morning show girl. And now she's not pressured to awesome. find That's a guy awesome. or, you know. I know a few other girls who've done that and they feel so relaxed. 
after it. I wonder I how many like, women okay. though have fallen to that pressure. Almost have every fallen. girl I know. Pressure. Almost every girl I know. Not kidding. <laughs> That's a pressure. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, what's the pressure? No pressure. <laughs> what's the pressure? You're three years old. You don't know what pressure <laughs> is. Pressure. What's the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to worry about Alonzo, it for at least Alonzo, you, <laughs> you want to know what pressure is? Alonzo, when you hug Julia h hard, that's pressure. pressure. You want to hug Julia? Hug. You want to yeah. be pressure? Give me a you bear hug. hug. Yeah. You want to hug her? Yeah? Hug. Yeah. 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 Say yes, say yes. yes. Say yes. Yeah. Right. There you go. Okay, I'll give you a hug later, okay? <laughs> when I'm leaving. But you gotta give me a really strong bear hug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <All right>. Like Tito. <laughs> and Sam's gonna be the first though. Yeah, yeah. Sam's gonna be the first one to hug. Demo, demo, demo. Tito first. Demo, demo, demo. Tito first. Demo, demo, demo. Tito first. 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 Tito Your homie Archer. Uh, Archer. Archer's in the city. Uh, oh, Archer's in the city too. Yeah, he's like, I, I want to see Lonzo. Okay? That's your homeboy. That's your homie. The kids are tuned in. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. There you go. Uh, All right. Okay. The future. So a lot of your out. friends have fallen to this pressure of just. But it's, a, it's an expensive thing. I mean, it's super expensive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because but, you... oh, but the not like getting into relationships and no. because. Yeah, not because of not freezing their eggs. Yeah. I mean, how many of us before this came Almost about? Almost every single girl I know is not happy in their relationship, wow. and oh. they're stuck. Right now, they're stuck. Yeah. Uh, do you, do they, did are they are they going out with Sam? <laughs> <laughs> not the one all her friends. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> no, if I knew that if more than one of my friends was going out with the same guy, I would tell them. <laughs> then that's trouble. All right, there you go. And if it was Sam. So how many of your friends are not happy? Almost um, because 90 percent of, of them. Wow, Damia. Because women end up choosing a guy and sticking with him because they've been with him for so long. And now that I'm 27 now, right? Okay. So all my friends are around my age. She's older than me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, we're 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 all. What? 25. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. 25 years ago. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so, anyways, all my friends are around this age that they're freaking out that they need to have kids, they need to get married, so they just stick with the guy they've been with, which was the wrong choice because they they got with them when they were like 22, 23, where you don't even know yourself yet. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They do fall into that pressure. So how many? How, how many are friends? Like 10, 20? Um. A lot. Like every, when I broke up with my boyfriend, every girl came up to me and was like, "I really wish I could do what you just did," and I'm like, "Then why don't you?" And then they're like, "I'm too afraid to start over." I'm like, "Oh, you just..." You I know. know. Yeah, I think it's the starting over is the hardest. Yeah, it's and then they're afraid. two, three years with a girl, four, five, six. Yeah. It gets harder the longer the relationship is. Yeah. I'm sure, Joe, you're you're only one year and you yeah, wanted year. To, and you wanted to kill yourself. Yeah. Man. Sayang hindi na ano. Hindi na katuloy yan. Hindi na katuloy yan. Sayang hindi na katuloy. 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 Hindi na Powdery thing. Okay. I don't, I don't know how much I'm. There's yeah, a yeah. kid here. <laughs> but, <laughs> you can say it. Um, okay, like a cocaine addiction withdrawal, like the most intense. It hits the same part of your brain when you break up with someone. So it's a withdrawal. And I felt that when I broke up with him, even though I was the one making a decision. And I felt like I was dying. It literally felt my my body felt like it was dying. And then after a few Damn. weeks, I it just disappeared. Yeah. yeah. So heartbreak is very real. Yeah, you, you. Most girls yeah, won't do that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they won't I, there's only a few yeah. of girls that would. There's only a few girls that. I know. Even if they still love the guy, they will still not break up. Like you know, what I mean, they know if it's if it's wrong. The, oh, I love the partner him and I was wrong. Yeah, him. exactly. Not too many people would or girls and guys would choose to break up with someone they still love. Yeah. Usually, it's they'll accept everything. 
No matter oh, yeah, who yeah. you are, what you are. Because they don't want to start all over again. Yeah. I mean, right, Alonzo? That, that's going to be the difficult but part. what's harder, it's like, <laughs> if you're not happy now, you're not going to be happy in five yeah. more years, ten sure. more years, yeah. fifteen more years. You can't years. fool yourself. But yeah. isn't, like, is there, there's, there are phases to our relationship, Deba. Right? Like, for now, you guys are super happy, then it, it gets, like, a, there's a low point, of course, after, like, seven years, ten years, and then you guys, you know, rise up again. Yeah. But it's probably because you weren't truly yourself in the beginning. Because why did it change? Yes, yeah, right? so I think people change effort. That's why I think marriage should be 10-year contract. <laughs> I'm serious. So you can oh, renew. my gosh. Yeah. I, I, I'm serious. Like, how you renew your insurance, how you renew yeah. uh, your, I mean, with, with anything, like, you know, your cars. I've never heard that, but that sounds like a great idea. Um, after 10 years, do you, are you really committed to the commitment or do you want to find someone else? Yeah. Both of you, like, let's say we're not happy. Like, do you want to live, so we live now. average 80 years. Do you want to live the rest of your life? <laughs> miserable. Wow. Yeah, like you're, you're okay with this person. Fine. You don't have to be miserable, right? Some people are like just, Okay, no. Because when I ask yeah. them, some people are like, "Okay, I'm okay. Yeah. She's okay. Hi. He's okay. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, we're okay." Just settling. And I'm like, Anna. You yeah. don't want to just settle, right? <laughs> do you want to settle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most people do. Most people do. He's at that age. Yeah. 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 Are you ready for a girlfriend? Yeah. How many do you, do you want to have? One. Three. One only. <laughs> three. Oh, two, two girlfriends. Two girlfriends. Four, five, five eight, seven, eight, eight girlfriends. How many girlfriends? Eight. Three. Eight. 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 Wow. Look at that. You want eight girls? <laughs> you want to come with me tonight? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's go to the river tonight. Go to the island. <laughs> the island. You're dressed for the island. Yeah. You want to see your Lolo Louie? <laughs> <laughs> Lolo Louie. Hi. Lolo Ron. Lolo Ron. Lolo Ron. Who's a friend of Jojo? Hi, Papa Ron. Lolo Ron. Lolo Saying hello to Eddie B and uh, his family who are tuned in. Met him earlier over at uh, Power Plant at uh, the Nespresso uh, oh, store. Nice. Yeah. Travis Monsud and Kat Monsud. What's up, guys? So what you, what's your advice to the girls out there that five years, it's going down, they're not happy, their partner's not happy? Like, make a list of what's most important to you, you know? Like, what do you want to happen in your life, and can you achieve that with the guy you're with? And if you can't, you just really have to think about it. It took me, like, two months of thinking. Man, and, you wrote that, like, this is five years of your life that yeah. you've been with that this is someone that you wanted to marry at one point. Yeah, yeah, I would have actually, but yeah, it was when situational. I, you, know, you know, when I would see you guys, it was pretty strong. Yeah. And when all of a sudden you told me, "Oh yeah, we we broke up." Hmm. No, but it was best. It was really a good decision, and I'm very happy. I've never been this happy because, like, you know, you lose yourself in a relationship. I hate it when girls say that. Right? <laughs> like, I'd be... No, 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 they're happier without you. Yeah. Without like, I'd be... I'd be so, like... If I heard a girl... <laughs> happier. Happier. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you happy girl, alone? Girl, I, girl, I, you? I feel so much better now. You know, I've moved on. I really feel so much... He was really a big mistake. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I guess. It's funny. It's funny. Why, have girls said that? Has a girl said that to you? Yeah. <laughs> They're happier without you. Yeah. Has right. has Sam's ex said that to 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 you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. But you shouldn't say that to someone else. I never told that to him. And okay. Yeah. yeah. Like no, we had a really good breakup. It okay. was really really mm -hmm. good, and we're both like very. What's a really good breakup? I, I never thought that. I mean. Um, we still care for each other. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So still friends. It, uh, we haven't talked in like three, no, since we broke up, but we know that we want the best for each other. Oh, yeah. You know, it was a very mature breakup. Okay. Yeah, which is good because, yeah. uh, you know, you can go the other route, be immature, like, yeah. you know what? Who, who, who? Diba? Who's the immature breakup? Oh, my. F you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I wish you would die. <laughs> uh, I wish you would die. <laughs> Your eyes, huh? I wish you would die. <laughs> You can go the, the immature route, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know good. why it's, it's you know why we like the immature route 
Because it's like it's petty. It's angry. Yeah. You're angry. Yeah. You're it's the only way it's that more you can fun get that back. way. Yeah, and and obviously we're we're only human, so mm -hmm. we're selfish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why why can I? <laughs> yeah. I spent five years of my life. You know what I mean? That's the easiest route. The mature route is is the hardest. Yeah. Right. No. But it, it was weird because our relationship was very happy. Like, we were got along so well. It was perfect. And then... See, as a guy, I'd be so... If I was your ex-boyfriend, I'd be so effed up. <laughs> because then you would say it was going great. Everything was perfect. We didn't have a problem. But... Until... No, but it's, it's not about the relationship. It's about yourself. If you kind of feel like you're not yourself anymore, yeah. and it's not that they're trying to change you, you just, like, they're so different mm -hmm. that you end up molding into some one kind of person. Uh, you, you know, I wasn't as social anymore. Mm -hmm. I wasn't as adventurous anymore. And I wasn't really myself. So I was like, I want to be myself again. That's, that's all. Couldn't you be yourself while in that relationship no because if they're too different from you then you naturally start to conform <laughs> with them you know yes, you, you yes, okay you, bless yes, you. you yeah just listen, just listening <laughs> steady steady steady, steady? Mm. all right we're gonna do a school book are you ready for school book how long is school today Okay, he's zoning on. He's zoning on? Oh, yeah, he likes the screen. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> we should do school book. Try oh. uh, a couple of things out. George is also. Yeah. Hey, before anything else, Pedro Bukas, 100,000 pesos. Wow. 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 So, That's a lot of money. Downloaded Pedro. That's a lot of money we don't have. Yeah. 100,000 peso game tomorrow. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. All right, it's just cool. We're going to get back. Getting ready? Okay, that's coming up. Also, we have those overnight stays at Holiday Inn Express. Uh, we're going to play Yes, Maybe No also mm -hmm. in a bit. So also, throwing uh, those uh, gift packs courtesy of uh, Uncle Drew. So mm. stay tuned for that one. Be back with more on Boy's Night Out. Today's best music, Magic 89.9. Now, I know malapit na naman ang Pecha de Peligro. Anong date na ba? Pecha ngayon? Uh, um, 28th. 28th of June. And mm. I know you guys got bills to pay. And meantime, medyo hassle because malapit na yung sweldo. Pero kailangan mo na mabayad ng mga utang. Bills. Meralco. Bills. Uh, cell phone My bills. bills. You need to go on a date. You don't have cash. You know what I, what I discovered? What? Tala. P-A-L-A. -A. Yeah. Pops, if you're on Android, download Tala. And uh, you can actually loan from 1,000 to 10,000 pesos. So wow. Oh, so uh, cool. download Tala, of course, uh, on your Google Play Store, and you can get up to 50 pesos off on your first loan just by using the code MAGIC, all right? Now, this is only happening until November 21, 2018. For DTIFT, for number 5930, series 2018. Don't worry, I know it's a little bit sad. There's no Eddie, but there's Tala! Tala! Say hi to our friends from Resorts from Manila. Of course, I know DJ Tones is a member of Resorts from Manila because yes. there are cool rewards available. Oh, they, they, they signed their... up to the Canina Lang. Oh, okay. oh nice, nice. Once again, at the renewal. Okay, so <laughs> what, what, what can people get, Tones? Uh, actually, uh, there are more incentives now, uh, believe it or not, for those that uh, haven't purchased their uh, Resorts from Manila membership card. Uh, but check this out. For starters, mm. um, members can get fuel discounts of up to 6 pesos per liter uh, when they gas up or refuel at Total Gas Station, Newport City Branch. Uh, if you're going on vacation, you can exchange your resorts with Manila points for Maboy Miles and spend fun-filled times with your family and friends. You can also convert your Maboy Miles into Resorts with Manila gift card to enjoy thrilling offers like collectees. These are uh, feel young, free, and proudly single when you wear the Resorts with Manila's newest collectees edition for only four hundred ninety nine per shirt, so if you're single, I think you should purchase one of these. Jojo, yeah, tones. I've Julia, purchase one of these. I purchased that. All right. Uh, also, Resorts for Middle members can now have their favorite snacks from Lay's, yes. Ferrero, Cheetos, and more any time of the day by simply using their points as their members' total treats. So these are some of the cool stuff. More are available at Resorts for Middle's Redemption Store. 
where cash or credit card payment is also accepted. Ito naman yung favorite ko, Pops, sa resort suite. May bagong wing eh. Okay. The Grand Wing, it's actually, you know, nandiyan na, it's actually partnered in the Newport Grand Wing. Meticulously designed Grand Wing exhibits the various iconic elements present in the Philippine culture. Now, may gaming area rin, no? It's on its soft opening, and it's now open to players 21 and above, so check it out. But reminder, uh, game responsibly. And don't forget, get updates on Resorts for Manila's latest promotions, events, other exclusives by visiting rwmanila.com. Better yet, download the Resorts for Manila mobile companion app so you get live notifications of lots. Uh, latest happenings <laughs> in the one stop, non stop destination of the reels. Long day, long day. Long day. Long day, long day. Hey, it's a Papi Henry Yam. Hey, hey. Tuned in to the hey, program Papi tonight. Hey, Henry. Oh, also to uh, Wendell Vans. Hey, Wendell Vans. Hey, Vans. What up, man? And also uh, saying hi to everyone stuck in traffic right now because of uh, there's a fire over at uh, SM Mega Mall. Yeah. So also you... to Gibson. What's up to Gibson? Thanks for tuning in, brother. Attorney uh, Reggie, what's up, Attorney? Hey, yes. Attorney Reggie, we'll see you guys later as well. Um, all right, here we go with school Google. All right, class in session, class in session. We have a new classmate. We have a new classmate, yeah, of course, for tonight. Classmate, are you ready? All right, here we go. Magandang <laughs> gabi. Principal Berata. Magandang gabi. Guru. Of course, Samir Govna. And I'd say I like your style. What is this? Uh, uh, what's this look? Formang James Reed. Formang mm. James Reed. Medyo fitted. <coughs> pero medyo maluwag. Fitted, <laughs> eh? Fitted, eh? Fitted. Okay, and uh, shoes mo, ah? Uh, NMD. NMD. Medyo mahal to, no? Uh, I've noticed uh, for the, the past few days, mm. you're Mr. NMD, ah? Eh? Mm-hmm. Medyo binagitan ako, no? Uh, but I watch it. I was about to say that. Uh, Timex, huh? What is that? Timex. Where'd you get that? Watch uh, the Timex store, sa Mall of Asia. Mm. Don't miss it. Great selection over there. Okay. Maganda ang yung uh, chameleon uh, chamuflage uh, jacket. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, this is uh, from uh, H&M. Perfect for uh, this kind of weather. And uh, who do you have with you? Um, uh, meron tayong bago kasi. Anong uh, pangalan? What's your name? Alonzo. Alonzo, how old? Okay, matutulog na. Kailangan na naman ako. Si, man, si, man. si, si <laughs> Rupert and April are like, Okay, si class. Yes, so. Sleeping in class? Okay, sleeping. <laughs> you, you, wanna hug, you wanna hug from Julia? Julia. Yeah! Hug Julia! Alright. Yeah, you want to? Yeah, make you wake up. Uh, you want the hug? I look at the size. Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Gino Solde, magandang gabi. Magandang gabi, sir. Um, uh, anong yung kasabihan sa araw na ito? May kasabihan! Ang mabait na kapitbahay, walang password na maipay. Yeah. Mr. Bueno, magandang gabi! Magandang gabi! Um, uh, Gino ang gawag na. Meron ka bang kasabihan pa sa amin ngayon, Gino Bueno? Nakikita ah. ka na naman, mukha kang fresh. Mukha nag-workout ka ngayon. Oo, oh, um, mula ka. Ako, di ba makabana? <laughs> Injury si sir eh. Ikaw mukha bumanag ka ngayon. Uh, Magkasabihan, ginombero. Ah, uh, It is better to be ahead of time than to be delayed. Ah. <laughs> Walang kwenta, moto ni Mr. Bueno. No? I'll just say yes. Si Papi uh, Eugene Tan, ang ating kaibigan sa Foy Lacard. Oy! Nakikinig ngayon. Hey! Eugene! Eugene si Lester, nagwawala sa Eugene. <laughs> It's a change. Oh, Papi Owen. Papi Owen, nakikinig oh. din. Um, Mr. Solde, paki, uh, pakilala ang ating bagong klas. Um, our new classmates came from uh, United States. Okay. It's an, I don't know how... What is, ano, ano is a Filipino and a mixed blood of foreigner. Mixed blood. Oh. Yeah, our new classmate is Miss Tisa. Miss Tisa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Miss Julia Kisumbing. What's up, Julia? Hi, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, this is uh, Professor Gogla. Ah, magandang gabi. Uh, Binibini ni Julia. Kamusta ang inyong uh, pagtitira sa <laughs> Pilipinas? <laughs> How am I liking the Philippines? Opo. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's well, I live here. Ah, dito na na kaya na kaya na kaya na kaya na kaya na kaya na Um, because my dad is Filipino and he grew up in the U.S., so he really sucks at Tagalog. Na kaya na kaya na kaya na Tagalog. Na intindihan mo ba? Tagalog. I understand, yeah, a little, Nakaka- very intindihan. little. Very. Konti lang. Konti. Kasi ito po ang ating konti, konti. Uh, leksyon sa araw na ito. Hmm. Tayo ay uh, mag uh, English it. What is it? Uh, English ship. 
Ano gagawin natin? English! English. English. Ang mga wikang Pilipino i-translate tayo sa salitang English. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay ba yun? Mali lang. Translate. Mali lang. All you gotta do is translate. Uh, oh my gosh. From Filipino Napa- Oh my God. Ang ating yeah. klase, no? Okay. Ang una natin pang-uusap. Can you yes, say that again? Pakisabi ako, oh my talk. gosh. Isa pa? Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. Ang una natin pang-uusap. Mr. Solder. Yes, sir. Huwag kang magtiwala sa di mo kakilala. Huwag kang magtiwala sa di mo kakilala. Huwag kang magtiwala sa di mo kakilala. Don't trust a stranger because you don't know what stranger is all about. There we go. Uh, yeah. Mr. Bueno. What was it? I'm a... Kailangan makinig, Mr. Bueno niya, pero pa ulit-ulit, sayang po sa oras. Huwag <laughs> magtiwala sa di mo kilala. Ah... Uh... Don't believe people you don't know. Or don't trust people you don't know. Maganda ang pagkasabi. Um, uh, Binibin ni Julia, huwag oh, ka no. magtiwala sa di mo kilala. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> okay, next question. Next question. <laughs> si Professor. No? Uh, si, si Principal. Uh, principal sa pangalawang, uh, pangalawang pangusap. Okay. Ang ating pangalawang pangusap sa English today, kapag makitid ang kumot, matutong bumaloktot. Kapag makitid ang kumot, matutong bumaloktot. Mr. Solde. Kapag makitid ang kumot, matutong bumaloktot. If the com- your comfort uh, com- your comfort is so short, make it shorter. There we yeah. go. Isa pa nga, kapag makitid ang kumot, matutong bumaloktot. If your comfort is short, make it shorter. So that is a shortcut. Baby it's a Julia, shortcut. <laughs> kapag makitid ang kumot, matutong, mamalukto. If your comforter is short, make it shorter. Hey, copy! <laughs> copy! <laughs> copy! <laughs> copy! <laughs> copy! <laughs> copy! <laughs> <laughs> And then you just say the same thing again. Ginoong <laughs> birata. Um, if your blanket is short, you should learn how to... Uh, scrunch up yourself in a little ball so that you can get warm. Scrunch up. Scrunch up. Okay. What, what does that mean, Jojo? Scrunch, scrunch up. Um, like it's shorter? Scrunch uh, up. What does that scrunch mean? Scrunch up. Uh, you must scrunch. Uh, scrunch. Stretch, right? Like stretch. Like crumple stretch. almost. Like yeah. Crumple or... Uh, I'll call it. Get in a... Crumple. Like a crumple. Fetal position. Okay. That's so, sinod na pa ang usap. Ang kaginhawaan ay nasa kasiyahan at wala sa kasaganahan. Oh my Ang gosh. kaginhawaan ay wala sa kasiyahan at wala sa kasaganahan. Ang kaginhawaan ay nasa kasiyahan. Man. The real happiness is not in the sad moment, but in the real life aspect. What? Yeah, ang kaginhawaan ay sarili yung kasiyahan. That's all, sir. That's my answer. Oh man. I didn't even understand. <laughs> repeat again, sir. Repeat. Can I just get the translate app on my phone? <laughs> Google, Google translate. Ang tunay na kaginawaan ay nasa kasiyahan at wala sa kagan, kasaganahan. Is that me? Or who? Who's so, that true happiness is something is enjoying life and not things that not other things, I guess. I don't know. That's what I got. And I'm far. <laughs> Mr. Bueno. Can you say it again? I was so deep. Ang kaginawaan ay nasa kasiyan at wala sa kasaganahan. Uh, to live happily in life has to come from within and not from others. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I think it's kasayaan. Eh. Ang translation ay well-being is in happiness and not prosperity. Oh. Ah, well-being. Ito ah, ay isang okay. klasiko. Ang di magmahal sa sariling wika ay maigpit pa sa hayop at malansang isda. Ang di magmahal sa sariling wika ay may... The man who does not love his own language is like a salted fish and an animal. <laughs> Pakiulit. <laughs> A man does not love his own language. It's like a salted fish and as wild as an animal. Mm. Wow. 
Mr. Bueno. Can you say it again? Hindi na naman nakikinig. Hindi magmahal sa riwiga ay mahigpit pa sa hayop at malansang isda. Yeah, someone who doesn't practice their language or learn to love their language is as bad as smelly fish and is an animal. Mm. Mr. Uh, Birata. <laughs> One must love your local language because if you do not love your local language... <laughs> You are just like a fish, but even worse because you are worse than a fish. You are like a dirty animal. That's San Diego accent. That is San Diego. Okay. <laughs> Diego. Last statement for today. Ang lihim na katapangan ay siyang pakikinabangan. Ang lihim na katapangan ay siyang pakikinabangan. English it. Ang lihim, a secret um, strength. Is truly desirable. Pakinabangan, desirable. Miss uh, Julia? Um, Ang lihim na katapangan ay siyang pakikinabangan. I just reworded. Everyone desires a secret strength. Mm-hmm. Pwede na. Pwede. Yeah, Pwede. Pwede. Oh, yeah? yeah? I don't even know what you knew what it was. No, I'm just Ihim. reverting his. <laughs> well, what what? Ihil? What? Nihil? Lihim is like secret. Lihim, Lihim. is secret. Yeah. What was it? Um, I have a Lihim. Nakatapangan ay siyang pakikinabangan. Uh, secret courage is what one benefits from. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 I thought I I thought a deep uh, trust someone who can keep a deep secret. Let's do it one more. Uh, oh, yeah, last, 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 if you give your best and effort. Yeah. I'll end. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bueno. Yeah, there's nothing hard if you've worked for it. There's no difficulty in giving your best effort. Uh, closing <laughs> up. Pwede na. Pwede na. And finally, the San Diego Buffet. Impossible is nothing. Branding up, branding up. You read it. I'm impossible. Impossible is nothing. I'm possible. I'm possible. And that does it for Google. Maybe you should go home. Say good night, everybody. Hug everybody good night. Come on, bud. Asian ginger rice. Sweet chili ginger sauce and savory rice. Try the new KFC Asian ginger rice bowl. Hug. Oh, yeah. Say thank you to everyone. Say thank you. Bye. Say thank you. Hug. You look out of it, bud. We just play a game and then you read the story and then. Okay. Say so good night. Say so good night to Julia. Good night. Hello, bye. Get your hug. Get your hug. Hug, hug. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Oh, I'm talking. Okay, come. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna be traffic, though, huh? Oh, we're gonna pass by Alexandra. Ano mo na lang? Backstreet na, Pioneers. Oh, yeah. Hindi ko pitoy yung. It's like super bad. Yeah. Yeah. Si Alexander muna ay kumambay at then C5 at least. Check na muna yung Waze bago. Ano? Yeah, yeah. Good check night, check Later, Waze bago because I heard it's like the fire trucks have blocked. Oh, no. The fire trucks have blocked. Yeah. It's really, the, the smoke has gotten to Corinthians. Bye, Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Bye. It hit, it hit Corinthians now. My friends are like, oh shit, is there a fire? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's in Corinthians, you know, the smoke. No, they can see, 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 Ed says they, he smells it all the way from Grove. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, 
Hit me up. Is that Just is that Corinthians? <laughs> yeah, Kim Young's house is like really. They can't even see anything outside. What part of the wall is on fire? Building uh, B, bottom floor. Do they know what started it yet? Or? Well, they said it started at the parking. Oh.